Hi, my name is Rayanne Haynes, and I am delighted to share with you that I will be one of the 2022 Writers in Residence for the Metro Edmonton Federation of Libraries. Uh, Norma Dunning will be the other writer in residence and she'll be working out of the um, main Edmonton Public Library. And I have the great, um, the great gift of working out of the Edmonton Region Library. So I'll be spending time in Sherwood Park, Fort Saskatchewan and St. Albert um, next year. So a little bit about me. I have written seven books. Uh, for our urban fantasy romance genre. Um, I had the uh, incredible fortune of getting a four book deal with a publisher out of New York several years ago. And that resulted in this collection. Um, Fireborn is book one. Um, Magicborn is book two. Uh, oh, Airborne is book three. And Bloodborne is book four. I also write literary fiction. I have been published um, in, in the US, Canada, and the UK. Um, I have written um, poetry, nonfiction, um, essay, um, literary fiction, and um, uh, this novel is called Stained with the Colors of Sunday Morning. It is a novel in verse, so it's a story told through poetry. And uh, my most recent collection is called Tell the Birds Your Body Is Not a Gun. This is a collection of poetry and essay. It's a hybrid text um, detailing a lot of traumatic work. And uh, my first book, my first work, I didn't bring the cover to show you, uh, is called um, The Stories in My Skin. And it was a chat, a poetry chat book, it was the very first thing I ever published or produced. I'm very proud of it. I'll find a cover <laughs> and show people um, at some point. I am, I am absolutely thrilled to have this opportunity to work with uh, writers. I have been mentored um, by some of the, I think some of the most incredible writers that this um, country has to offer. Uh, people like Alice Major, uh, Peter Midgley, um, worked with incredible authors such as Titi Lopez, Shanuga, um, and Jacqueline Baker, et cetera, et cetera. I have a podcast called Crow Reads in which I interview intersectional women authors from Alberta about their work and what they're doing. I've produced poetry films. Um, all of this to say that I feel um, uh, like I have the necessary things that I need to have in order to help um, writers. And I want to be able to share some of that with you. Uh, I'm gonna be hosting workshops, uh, writer conversations uh, for writers of all ages. We'll talk about things like um, writing difficult material, um, uh, uplifting intersectional voices, um, writing the lived experience. Um, um, uh, it's all coming, <laughs> it's all a blur in my mind right now. Um, but I really hope people know, and I want to make sure people know that I am the furthest thing from a literary snob that you will find. I want to hear your story, whatever it is, um, genre fiction, um, poetry, essay, short story, micro fiction, uh, romance, um, science fiction. I, I just want to hear your story and I want to hear your voice and I want to be able to offer whatever support I can to you as a writer for, um, to help your work be the best that it can be. Uh, I was, I have been mentored through this program in the past, um, and uh, it helped me understand a little bit more about what I needed to do to, um, to get published and to be um, becoming the author that I hope to fully become one day. So please reach out to me um, starting in January, and let's figure out how we can do this work together. Um, yeah. <laughs> I look forward to talking to you all. Have a great night.